Hi, this is Amy at amycommonsensesouthern.com. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I upload two to three times a week. And today I'm creating a video because Joan of Joan's Pointed Plate tagged me in the weight loss tag, or I have 11 questions that I have to answer about my weight loss journey. I've linked to Joan's page down below in the description box, and I've also linked the channel pages for two other channels, Becoming Alexa and Angelica Dawn. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into these 11 questions. I have my computer monitor to my right, where I will be consulting for the questions because I can't remember all 11 questions. So the first question is, when did you start gaining weight? I was nine years old when I started gaining weight. Um, I was always one of those little, little um, I guess you'd say scrawny little kids. I was really, really short for my age, really small. And then when I was about nine years old, I started to plump up. And then I thinned out a little bit when I was in about the eighth grade, ninth grade. Um, I was kind of that 10, 12, 14 size range through most of high school. Um, when I got to college, instead of gaining the freshman 15, I actually lost a little bit of weight and was around like a 10, 12 size. Um, I never really did anything to try to lose any weight um, through all that time that lasted more than a day or two. Uh, it was never really on any kind of a plan until I got to be, uh, it was around the time I graduated college my first year um, at work and uh, I just wanted to lose a lot of weight. And what made me lose that weight was I had a trip to Spain planned. And I decided, wouldn't it just be awful if I'm standing there on the Mediterranean coast thinking this would just be great if I wasn't so fat? Because um, I think this is something I used to feel a lot more when I was younger than I do now. But there have been so many things in my life that, that were not quite what they should have been that I didn't want that to be one of those experiences. And so um, I lost a lot of weight. Um, doing the whole low fat thing. If you remember in the 90s where everything was low fat, that's what I did. And I lost a ton of weight. I went from about 185 pounds down to 113. And I really, through most of my 20s and 30s, kept most of that off until um, right around the time my mother got sick, I kind of hit a, hit a rough patch and I gained a lot of weight. And so it was probably... Um, I would say that it was in 2015 that I was at my heaviest. This was after my mother had passed away, and I just realized that I was a lot heavier um, than I should be. I was probably because I didn't feel as good as I thought I should feel for my age that I decided to uh, do something about it. Question two, are you an emotional eater? Yes and no. I definitely am in the mood to eat when I'm happy. When I'm not happy, I either want to just eat something out of frustration, which doesn't make sense at all if you think about it, but if you're an emotional eater, it does. Um, and then sometimes if I'm not doing well or not in a good mood, which is not often, I just don't want to eat anything at all. So, but I definitely say that I am a happy eater. Number three, how long have you been dieting? Well, going back to the original question of when did I gain weight, I guess I answered this prematurely. So back in the late 90s, when I was in my early 20s, I did the whole low-fat thing. Now, there was one time back in 2009 that I did Weight Watchers for the first time, but I was nowhere near as heavy as I was by 2015. It was just a lot harder, I think, to do Weight Watchers for me, uh, especially because I did it alone. I did online only. I didn't do it with... Um, I've never gone to meetings. I would say that my most recent weight loss journey has been from 2015 on. Very recently, I needed to hit the reset button because after a move, I was just, I think, um, you do that survival living thing and you just eat whatever you can find um, or whatever is easy and convenient and causes you the least amount of stress. And uh, so I put on a little bit of weight. I've wanted to lose about 15 pounds and I'm almost at goal. So that's been within the last year. I, I just had to hit the reset button. Four, are you following a diet now? Yes, I'm using the Weight Watchers program. I do online only. I have never been to a meeting. And um, yes, uh, freestyle is a little bit different. Uh, I think back in 2015, it was points plus, And then it switched to smart points. And now it's smart points freestyle that I'm using. And I'm doing okay. Um, I think that if I had started out, on the current plan, I might struggle because of the zero points food. Points plus, you didn't have as much that was zero. And I think I learned my habits on points plus so that I'm okay. Number five is, have you had success in the past? Um, yes, I have. Uh, back in 19, around 1998, 1999, I went from about 185 pounds down to um, 
113 pounds and that was all low fat but that was not sustainable and it was probably not the healthiest way of losing weight because I was eating a lot of processed items. Um, I mean, I guess you could do low fat without a lot of processed foods, but back then I was not. Number six is, do you have a workout plan? Um, not at the moment. I am on my feet so much during the day that um, a lot of times when I get home from work, I'm just tired. I guess I could work out before work, but when I do work out, it's usually yoga or I go for a walk or a hike. So um, I'm not on a regimented plan. I watch some YouTubers and man, they are killing it with their workout routine and I'm just not there right now, but I, I need to be. Number eight, how much weight do you want to lose? Um, right now, I just wanted to lose, a, uh, hit the reset button and lose um, about 10 to 15 pounds and it's going really well right now. Number nine, do you feel like you're addicted to food? You know, that's, that's a funny question because, um, you know, there are other addictions that people have that that they stop using that um, substance altogether. Uh, but but whether you're addicted to food or not, you still have to eat. So that it's tricky. Um, I would not say that I'm addicted to food. There are certain things that I really, really like. And if I'm going to be bad, I'm more likely to turn to some of those items. But I don't think I have a food addiction necessarily. Number 10 is, am I comfortable with my body now? Um, I would say that I am more comfortable than I was uh, when I weighed 185 pounds or um, 190 something pounds like I did in uh, 2015. I certainly uh, walk out and I go about the world with a certain amount of confidence that I'm not self-conscious or people looking at me and thinking I'm fat. That doesn't really, uh, that's not really something that, that worries me or bothers me at this point. Um, Am I completely comfortable with how every part of me looks? No, there are certain things that I don't wear because I know that they won't look good on me. There are certain parts of my body that I, I suppose I try to camouflage, but um, I do feel like I move about the world not worried about um, how um, I look to other people for the most part. I think I do have more confidence about me weighing um, in the 130s than I did in, um, than I did in the 190s. Keep in mind that I am five feet, two inches tall, and so that's pretty short. So uh, for me to say um, the 130s when I'm 5'2", as opposed to somebody saying they're in the 130s when they're 5'6", that's a completely different thing. So when I say I was in the 190s um, at 5'2", that's um, kind of big. That's like size 18 clothing getting uncomfortable. So if that helps uh, at all, if you're a little bit taller than that and what that feels like. Number 11 is, do you deprive yourself of any food? And I would say that I do not deprive myself of any food um, in a way that I feel like I can't have something. In particular, um, everything that I don't eat is something that it's my choice not to eat. I try to stay away from processed foods, um, especially anything that's artificial, like artificial sweeteners, um, any kind of a butter spread, that is that has oil in it to make it lighter or or whatever it has in it that makes it lighter or any coffee creamers with artificial sweeteners I, I just stay away from all that stuff i don't consider that depriving myself of something i try to eat um, as close to a whole foods diet as i can 80 percent of the time i take a clean eating approach to weight watchers which is what's so great about weight watchers because you can do um, anything you want with it to a certain extent so no, I don't deprive myself of anything. Like if I want pizza, um, I'm out and other people are having pizza, I'll partake in that. It, that's the beauty of Weight Watchers is you plan your day around what it is that you decide to do. So I have answered the 11 questions. Thank you to Joan at Joan's Pointed Plate for inviting me to do this. I have also linked below to um, Becoming Alexa and Angelica Dawn. I hope you'll give their channels a visit. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already give it a thumbs up and click that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. And until next time, this is Amy at Amy Common Sense Southern.